Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. This will be your official Rhinebeck vlog and today we are starting out at Woolen Folk. Welcome. Look, I found I found my friend Shelly. I'm at her booth. I bought a couple of things and eventually I'll show y'all around. It's really pretty here. It's beautiful. The weather is nice. So, and let's hope I don't lose my earrings. It is so incredibly beautiful out here. Thank you. Um, the other two are over there. Jessica is over there doing some serious knitting. What you making, friend? Um, this is a really important sweater. Feeling in the sun, we so appreciate. We are so excited to be here, Felicia. Thank you for hosting us. We couldn't be more excited to be here. The two minions in my life are fighting over which minion is taller. So back to back, I would think. Uh huh. You guys, my minions are little. We're gonna have to have the results in millimeters. My mother is cheating. Yeah, she's, she's Mommy, don't be a cheater. I feel like, and I feel like there's a link on you. You know how much I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much I love you, and I would never so want to hurt your feelings. I would never want to hurt your feelings or burst a bubble or do whatever. It's her hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not her hair. It's so sorry. I'm calling you. It's okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's very. <laughs> Oh, Y'all, look at all that butt my friend got. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> she just got all this booty at a yarn festival. All right, y'all. This is me trying to get content for y'all. Hi. How are you? I'm well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, trying to get content. For y'all, um, because I've been, I'm running out of steam here very quickly. But mom is over at. Lobby and me, which I thought was right here. Oh no, she's right there. I guess I don't know where anything is. This is one of my favorite people. It was like so much fun and so beautiful. All of the yarn and seeing all of the people and meeting folks. So much fun. The corner over there. Okay. Hello. 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 Some of my other favorite people. Well, at least you'll get a little tiny break, right? Yeah. Well, give me a dollar. So all these three. Yeah. Uh huh. Did you get them all? Yeah. Three. Just half. Yep. Um, my mom does. I actually only online bookstore. Uh huh. So a lot of my stuff is like reading stuff. Yeah. Books and book reviews and oh, okay. Life yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but related to your business. What's your name? Shelby. Shelby, I'm Erin. Y'all, I am tired. Um, 
But being here feels good. Um, so many people have seen me and said so many lovely things. It's so uncomfortable to receive a compliment. And I think I need to unpack that in therapy. I think that's something that I need to talk to my therapist about. Why I get so like weird about people telling me that I'm inspiring them. Um, because I don't see myself the way that other people see me. Um, a lot of the times I feel like I'm failing. <laughs> um, a lot of the times I feel like I'm not doing enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy enough. I'm not deserving enough. Um, so, in a time when the past 10 months have been really, really rough, it's, it feels good to be seen. It feels good to be uh, loved. It feels good to be prayed for. Um, it, it feels good to be acknowledged. Um, I'm glad I came. I think I'm going to like sleep for 7 to 10 business days next week. Um, because I'm definitely doing a lot more. Hi! I'm doing a lot more than I should be doing. I should be resting more. But it's all been very worth it. Um, the sweater is almost done. Jessica is having a good time. Uh, Mom is having a good time. Um, we both are going to sleep really good tonight. Um, it's good to see Adela and Jimmy. Um, it's just, it's been good so far. I'm, I'm curious to see what tomorrow brings. Do it like that for me. Well, I bet you my God be a big star. Day one of Rhinebeck is over. Um, my feet hurt, but we going in the grocery store so that I can grab some stuff for Gunner. Yeah, we take Jess back to her Airbnb. Walk Gunner, and I'm gonna carry my ass to sleep. It was a really good day, though. Eventful. Right, a very good eventful day. <clears throat> I'm just sleepy and tired. Good morning. Welcome to day two. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure by tomorrow I will not have a voice. And that is fine. My sweater is finished. Just just has has the weaving ends, um. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna walk Gunner, and then we are heading out the door to go get Jess, get food so I can take medicine and stuff, and we'll be on the road. Welcome to day two. All right, guys, the sweater is finished. I will like take detailed video of it later but we have a sweater and we are here. I'm not feeling my jeans today, but it's fine. We won't panic. People let me tell you about my best friend. I don't even know if y'all can hear us because of the wind. They probably but, can't. But I got my friend. But y'all can see us. Right, exactly. <laughs> I, we got I got my friend with me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Welcome to Rhinebeck, day two. I have no voice. Um, I'm gonna go pick up Jess. Indy is on her way. Um, Kenny is coming with us. I'm excited about that. And yeah, today I'll get some more footage, I promise. Hello out there. Good morning. <laughs> we are waiting for Indy and Kenny. And then we're going to get in Indy's car because her car is bigger. Um, we've already done the Starbucks run. And I feel like by the time we leave, um, we'll be able to meet up with Vincent um, just in time. I sound like Uncle Shelby. Um, and yeah, that's just the vibe for today, I guess. I went on Instagram and I was like, look, y'all. We ain't doing a bunch of yipping and yapping today. We smiling, we taking pictures, mm -hmm. and we going on about our way because I don't have a voice. 
I'm sad it's the last day, but I'm also like, okay, I'm ready to decompress. Okay, that's people. one of the dogs I'll be complaining about. Oh, yeah. Look at that baby. They're so beautiful, though. But they be yelling, okay? Their owners are so sweet, though. He's cute. Yes. I think that's the girl. Mm-hmm. She be. Listen, to one day, they pushed the screen at her window out. As the I was dog? walking Gunner up the thing, I thought they were going to jump out. And I'm like, <laughs> what I try to tell people is, like, Gunner is not a... Gunner is not an aggressive dog. He's more nervous. Like, he gets anxious. So... But he's also not a punk. So, like, if you get too close to me and he feel like you trying to try some shit, Gunner, like, oh, we could we could rock. Like, we could, feel, <laughs> we could throw some bows if that's how you feeling today. So I always get nervous. Because I'm like, my baby ain't, my he going to fight you. <laughs> he going to cry in the car, but he going to fight right. you. He definitely can do it. Right. So they be making me a little, <clears throat> a little nervous. I'm putting my sweater back on today. We're going to finish weaving in the ends on the last day of ride back. Right. Because yesterday we shoved them in the sleeve. Right. We shoved them in the sleeve. So just to do that on our ride. I'm not driving today. I don't think, at least, I don't think Indy's gonna let me. Um, so, I'll be able to like sit in the car and ride today. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm as tired. And honestly, if it wasn't for Indy, we would not be going back today. We would all be in the bed. <laughs> I'm sure Jessica can attest to oh, that. Oh yeah, room. I could sleep all day. Right. Taking off Monday and Tuesday though That was a brilliant idea I am sleeping all day tomorrow Yes I want these converses in more colors Um, Somebody had that brown color Did you see that? It's Like, like the leather brown. ones? Oh no the light brown Like the mauve one yeah. I saw those I wanted to get those I wanted the ones uh, Felicia had. Okay. I, I think those are the leather ones. Yeah. I there love are those. some. They have some. Because I have some regular chucks that are um, leather. And I love them. They're white. So I need to do that. And today will be content day. I haven't gotten any, like much of anything. But I wanna get some cool shots of my sweater. And um, I don't know. Yeah, I've done terrible at even just taking pictures. Yeah, today is the day for that. <clears throat> but I'm kind of glad because I just soaked in the last two days of seeing people. Right, enjoying seeing it. people and just enjoying it and all that stuff. I really need to take this down, but I don't want to because it's genty. I like it. Thank you. It was the parking pass that didn't really do shit when we went to the event, but because they had it in um, Liberty State Park, which is where the. Um, it's like across the water from um, the Empire. Not the Empire. Oh. The, who, who is the bitch with the oh, statue of Liberty? Yeah. I think. <laughs> um, but the reason that they do it there is because I didn't realize that, that the Liberty State Park is actually a stop for the Underground Railroad or was a stop for oh, the Underground Railroad. Cool. So that is why they had Juneteenth there. Um, the significance of it. But, um, yeah. So many people have come up to me. So many people have said so many lovely things. Um, it's all really humbling. Especially because I've, I spend a lot of time feeling like I'm not doing enough. Or I'm not saying enough. Or I could be better. Um, and just realizing that there are so many people that are willing to be patient with me and watch me grow and to help me however they can 
is it's really humbling it's really really humbling so I'm gonna have to sit down and like reflect I think the most important part to me though is seeing all of my friends flourish you know like wearing Shelly Can shirts mm -hmm. and being able to say my friend sells them you know and being able to plug her people asking about the sweater and like being able to be like oh my friends mm -hmm. you know it's it's super exciting and as always watching people love on my mother some of y'all weird i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie mm -hmm. some of y'all a little strange <clears throat> and i'll be feeling like we need a security detail mm -hmm. but and it was so good seeing adela and jimmy i really wish they lived closer because i'm tired of only seeing them at yarn events <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's my family um and of course, I would love to be closer to Lola. Um, Sorry, I just I thought there was a bug in the car. Um, but it's also. No, I was sitting at dinner last night. I was just like taking it in because it's all these people that, like, obviously I talk to you every day, but like feeling close to people you haven't even met before or don't even talk to so much just because, like, for you. I was like, I love these people. Oh yeah, that's cool for me too. Getting, like being able to put my friends in spaces where they can flourish on their own too. You know, like Jess was mingling with Tracy and Jody <laughs> right. yesterday. And know? I acted normal, okay? And she did, she didn't freak out. I kept When I cool. told her a couple of weeks ago that we would be going to dinner with them, she was on the phone like, <gasps> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I said to mommy, I was like, poor Jess gonna have a damn heart attack. Oh. Because last year when I met Andrea Mowry, I blacked out and just didn't say anything. I just stood there and like right. looked at her. But we were legit at dinner just talking yeah. and, you know, mingling amongst ourselves. And that was really cool. And she even got to talk to some other people, like, based on me and mom introducing her and, like, work opportunities and all this kind of stuff. Which is, you know, what I'm all about. Being able to connect the pieces for people. I never want... Um, let me reread that. I don't want to be successful by myself, <laughs> right? Like, I don't want to be great alone because I understand that it takes a village. Mm -hmm. And it's people like Jessica and like Indy and my mom and Adela that are the reason why I'm able to do the things that I do every day because of the way that they support me. So I try to honor them and give back in the small ways that I can. And if that means, oh, she just made my sweater, so she's right. coming along, you know? Or she's just my friend, so I'm just going to put her in these spaces with people like the grocery girls or like Adela and Jimmy or whatever, so that, you know, she can network and make that, that makes me feel good, you know? Yeah, you can't even exaggerate, like, the kind of people that they are in person. Like, you know, you see people and everyone, like, they're good people, but, like, being in the presence and they are exactly, exactly who they, they are, they but are. more. Right. Like, it's even better. Right. That was crazy. Hi. So, it's really cool. But yeah, we going today because of Indy. Right. <laughs> and she better have her hat on. Listen, if she don't have a damn hat on, I'm going to hit her in the throat. <laughs> because you hear how I sound like somebody's people. <laughs> like somebody's uncle. I don't know who the hell that is. Where he come out of? I don't know. Okay. He might be a new neighbor. But yeah. And then, you know, seeing Kayla and Shayla and Lamont. That was another thing. I feel like, you know, we always talking about my day in life. I feel like I'm intimidated. I feel like men might look at me and see me in spaces like Ryan Beck or other yard events and be like, how am I to compete? when she's able to like work a room this way and do all of this other stuff. And I don't know, it's more and more leaning towards, I'm just gonna be saying, you ain't never getting a niece and nephew girl. 
You're gonna be stuck. I am here. getting one. Okay. You're gonna be stuck with Gunner for the rest of your life. <laughs> because a... they're just gonna figure it out one day. Like you don't have to change <clears throat> the way you are. They just have to figure out that they can be confident enough in themselves too. Right. It says a lot more about them than it does yes. about me, but still I think I'm starting to see the vision a little bit. But I'm like, I don't want somebody that I gotta, you know, convince. No. I don't mind doing the work. I don't mind making my person feel secure. But and also this is my life. There are just going to be certain places that mom and I go that, you know. And you can see how many, like, couples there are where the guy's rolling with the girl. Like, right. And he's fine. And, and he's fine. He takes just the standard, pictures. Right. He standing supports in the background. Them. Yeah. Being supportive. No so, ifs, ands, or buts. Not like, oh, I don't want to go to this dumb thing. And they might not want to go to it because they don't enjoy right, it. Right. Because they don't enjoy it. But they're there and they're excited mm -hmm. to be there and excited to see you know their person flourish and be mm -hmm. loved on and all that sort of thing so i don't know yeah like i really paid attention to that yesterday and i was like i want that out of someone where you're not like oh let's go to rhinebeck and they're like right i'm not going like just going and enjoying yourself because the other person is enjoying themselves not right. because you have to enjoy looking at yarn or looking at sweaters right like the whole experience yeah, right back is fun. It is. As someone that is yarn adjacent, I don't knit, I don't, you know, buy the yarn. I'd be excited because the colors are pretty and stuff like that. But you know, like I'm outside of like me making my bucket hat and like the collab yarn, like I'm you know, it's not the highlight of the situation for me, but it's still so much fun and it's so interesting to see all the things and to see the people and all that sort of stuff like that that's still very it's amazing i did a whole bunch of networking too i'm so proud of you about that thank you like it was just like hearing you talk was i was so proud i was thank like you. this is this is where you are supposed to be and what you are supposed to be doing i get nervous but you know there were so many i think the thing that I can say, if I had to give anybody advice, go and be in the places that that spark your spirit. Like the people that I did network with yesterday were people that I'm like, I saw them and they, f I felt good talking to them. They made me excited. I wasn't just talking to them because I needed to network and mm -hmm. because I needed to do X, Y, and Z for this particular project, right? It was like, oh no. I would love to be able to use my resources and use what I'm trying to do to also as well help them and to get them into doors mm -hmm. and, you know, to get them to put their foot in the doors and be the liaison between, you know, connections that maybe they feel like, oh, I'm just a little such and such. Mm -hmm. So I won't be able to work with the magpies or work with Adela mm -hmm. or work with whatever. And it's like, oh, if I can be the middleman for that, I would love to. But the, the big thing is like, Everybody that I spoke to was somebody that excited me. Mm -hmm. Somebody that had something on that I was like, this is amazing. Or I love your energy or whatever. It wasn't just me being like, oh, well, I, well, I have to. So let yeah. me. I like that it was natural. So like you didn't go in and think, well, I got to talk to this person, this that person, person, this right. person. It just was stuff that it just naturally like, happened. I like your energy. I like your vibes. I like your sweater. Like we need to talk about right. this. Right. We need to talk about this. Here's what I'm trying to do. Right. How can we make this work? So, that I'm excited about. What else was I going to say? I got my popcorn. <laughs> That's important. I can hear them walking. Mom got some like goat milk soap or something like that. And y'all remember my story about goat cheese. I don't, goat cheese and goat milk soap sound too adjacent to me. So. Did you use it? She did. The bathroom smelled really good after she got out of the shower, but it's the goat part that makes me. That <laughs> makes me yeah, I want to do a bit. minimal shopping today. Yeah. But like a little bit. Because I only bought one thing of yarn yesterday. Okay. Um. 
and I had to have it like I said because I was finishing a project they had the same color that I bought last year so I'm really excited about that okay so that's what you when you said that I didn't like put the pieces together by the end of the day yesterday when we were on our way to dinner yeah. we sat in traffic for an hour and my brain was mush Jess was saying stuff to me and I was like <laughs> well what? I said I want to create a knitting yeah Instagram. a knitting she said she said she wanted to like create separate. a knitting Instagram account right but she just said like a knitting account to keep her knitting separate and I don't know what <laughs> you were the like, fuck I heard why but I was like you want to do what <laughs> And then it was like my brain finally caught up and like put the words together and I was like, oh, a knitted, okay, all right. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. But, um. It's yeah. exhausting, like talking to that many people, the energy that you put into this weekend. Like I was telling people, um, I'm exhausted and I'm not talking to people like that. Like I'm saying hi to people, but they don't know who I am. Right. Like having to put that energy of people walking by you and being like, like you could just see their face light up. Even when mom and, when we were walking in yesterday, I don't know if you saw the woman, the first like woman that we spoke to. I don't know if you saw her like pointing at us, mm -hmm. like in the parking the, lot. Yeah, yes. and I'm like, girl, it is so give us a crazy. Second. Like you hadn't even opened your door, right? And I was like not <clears throat> hardly paying attention because I was still weaving in ends and stressed. Um, but it's like the way people's faces are when they first see them is hilarious just a mess a as long as they like come up and talk like politely and not do the i just don't like it when i'm like and i'm like yes it shall be like if you want to say hi say hi don't be weird though right because i'm gonna hug you i'm gonna <laughs> talk to you i'm not gonna tell you like unless you're blatantly rude right oh that's what I wanted to tell y'all about. That bitch <laughs> at the fuck when we was eating oh. lunch. So I didn't mention, but my other friend, I feel like you guys have seen Sarah in the vlog at some point in time, but she's one of my other best friends. She came up um, for Rhinebeck as well with her coworker who's also named Sarah. Um, and, you know, I got to take my medicine and stuff. So it was time for me to eat. We're sitting there eating and there were other women at the table and someone complimented my sweater and I get excited and I'm like, it's a collaboration. You guys are going to see this in Freak because y'all don't even know about the collaboration or anything like that. So I'm telling them it's a collaboration with the Magpies. It comes out on my birthday. Blah, blah, blah. So one of the women, they're all sisters, we find out later. But the one goes, so who are you that you have yarn named after you by the Magpies? And I was like, I'm me. And she was like, so you knit that? And I said, no, my best friend made it for me. Well, if you don't knit, like, why do you? Because I'm me. That's when I started paying attention because I was like looking around and then I'm like, what? why is she talking right now? Listen, I'm like, because I'm me. Can you tell my, text my mom and tell her to come outside? And she's like, well, are you an influencer? Right. That was the part that got me. Are you an influencer? So I'm like, I was ready. No. That's when I was ready to be like, yes, yeah, she is. My best friend is here. Um, I'm like, uh, no, I'm not a damn influencer. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Hi. Wait. wait. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> How are you? Lovely. I'm ready for today. Me too. I was like, fuck, I overslept. <laughs> the people called my room at 7.50 and I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> I gotta run. See, I was excited it was later today because I have not slept in like three nights. So I actually slept last night and slept in. Good. It was great. I think we're switching over to my car. Okay. I think. I'm not going to I don't really care. Either way. We're going to get there. What car are we taking? So can he get all his racket music out because he can't listen to it in front of other people. <laughs> I need a little padding. Uh, hi vlog. <laughs> right. I need to say that. Um, we just got here. As you can see, my best friend is in the car. Kenny? 
Are you gonna say hi to the vlog? <laughs> Thank you, Bubby. <laughs> Usually he tells us no, but <clears throat> we are about to pull up to the fairgrounds now. <sighs> Get it going, I got my sweater on. My voice sounds a bit better, but I figure by tomorrow, you going in between cones, baby. I figure by tomorrow I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be mute. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, mommy, did you let um, Jody and Tracy know? I just, I just texted and let them know that we were pulling into the parking lot. Okay, are they here already or? Um, I'm waiting for them to respond. Okie dokie. Um, the only person I didn't I have heard from is uh, Shayla. I don't know where she at. So, but we're here. Oh, wow. He looks very much like Couscous. <laughs> um, are you the emperor who's getting his groove back, sir? <laughs> Kenny said it's so fluffy. Turn around this way so I can take your picture, Kenny. No. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have said nothing. No, you should have just got the picture. What are you doing? Hi. So soft. That thing said, don't touch me, girl. Right. He was like. Hi, sweet babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what she said? I think she and me are going this afternoon. I think we've got uh, four worthy candidates out here to win this show uh, and, and be reserved. Uh, I'm talking about the UC Brinkley class. So uh, at this time, I will, uh, I will congratulate the, uh, the champion and the reserve champion of the show. Did you get up there and scratch <laughs> Trying a new ramen spot. I'm always telling y'all to get a friend like Indy aboard mission. Aboard, aboard, aboard mission. Just wanted to come and end the run back vlog and say that I still don't have a voice. Um, I'm heading out to get mom and I something to eat, and I'm getting back in the bed. But this weekend was beautiful. If I saw you, if you hugged me, if you stopped me. And we took pictures and whatever. I love you. I need a new car, y'all. My car door won't open. The driver's eye door, to be specific. Oh, look at that little baby. It's a dog. Um, but yes, I love y'all so much. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next vlog.